Hello. In this video, we're going to show you how to navigate the rear control panel of an LA-108 and LA-112 loudspeaker. The entire L-Class rear user interface consists of a 2.4-inch full-color display, which is navigated using an encoder wheel and menu button. You also have an ID button here, which is used to identify the loudspeaker over a network when using QSC System Navigator software app. This simple yet effective control system allows for quick and precise configuration of a single loudspeaker or an entire array from just one interface. Let's jump in and have a look. Once powered on, the main display on the LED screen will show the status of the loudspeaker or array with this bar at the top of the screen. In the upper section, the total number of boxes in the array will be displayed with the current box highlighted in the diagram. You will also see the display angle of each loudspeaker, as well as the high frequency shading of each loudspeaker displayed on either side of the diagram. Next to the array section is the gain for the current loudspeaker, which can be adjusted using the encoder wheel. The icons at the bottom represent the network, array compensation, high pass filter, and EQ status. If any of these parameters are active, these corresponding icons will illuminate. Let's go ahead and dive into the menu. We'll access this by pressing the menu button indicated by these three lines. Now we can see all of our menu options. To access any of these parameters, simply use the wheel to scroll over the desired parameter and then push the wheel in to select it. You can make adjustments to any of these settings on the current screen by scrolling and selecting with the encoder wheel. In the high pass filter section, we can see options for no subwoofer, 80 Hz, and 100 Hz crossover filters. To exit and return to the main menu, simply press the menu button. Each loudspeaker features an architectural time delay of up to 200 milliseconds, which can be dialed up here. Next, we can engage or bypass the EQ settings in the DSP. Note that EQ parameters themselves can only be adjusted via the System Navigator app. When multiple L-Class loudspeakers are arrayed together, the high frequency shading section will display the high frequency shading for each box within the array. From this screen, you can also manually adjust the amount of high frequency shading applied to any loudspeaker in the array, not just the one you are currently controlling. The array compensation screen will allow you to manually input the total number of loudspeakers in the array as well as to designate each loudspeaker's location in the array. Here is where you input the total display angle of the array, which is the sum of all array angles added together. The bottom of the screen will display the current splay angles between each loudspeaker within the current configuration. The array compensation can be set up automatically using the one-touch array optimization function that we'll cover in another video. Next in the menu is the state of the array. Accessing this gives us the option to place the loudspeaker in an active, muted, or standby state. The last option in the menu is the settings section. If we select and access the settings, we are taken to the settings menu where we have access to the security feature, the loudspeaker input sensitivity, LED mode, and LCD brightness, network settings, and utilities. To set up security, use the encoder wheel to set a four-digit passcode by scrolling through each number box and pressing the wheel to set it. Once all four numbers are set, the green unlock button will become the lock button. Scroll to select it and press the wheel to lock the loudspeaker or array. The screen will back itself out to the main screen and you will see a locked bar across it. When the loudspeaker is locked, the password screen will appear anytime any of the controls are accessed. The correct password must be entered to make any adjustments to the settings. If you're using the security feature, it is highly recommended that you write down or record the password somewhere. You don't want to inadvertently get locked out of your loudspeaker settings due to forgetting your password. In the input sensitivity parameter section, we are presented with two options, plus 24 dBU and plus 4 dBU. The L-Class will default to plus 24, which is designated for high output professional mixing consoles. If you are connecting an audio interface or a low output mixing console, you may want to set this to plus 4 dBU if you discover that the output of your system is too low and you need to apply a lot of gain to get to a nominal level. LED mode allows you to adjust the functionality of the front and rear LED indicators, including full blackout for dark stages. LCD brightness should be pretty self-explanatory. Here you can turn up or down the brightness of the LCD display. The network screen will display the current network settings and status with the options to set these parameters manually if connected to a network and using QSC System Navigator software. Next, we have the Utilities section, where we can perform a diagnostic test, reset the loudspeaker to factory settings, or recalibrate the accelerometer of the current loudspeaker. And that's it! 
That's the full walkthrough and navigation of the LA-108 and LA-112 loudspeaker menu system. Thank you for watching. Move on to the next video whenever you're ready. See you there.